Dunbar. You're always causing problems, buddy. Look what you've done. Yeah, there goes one. Got him. Dunbar. You're always causing problems, buddy. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Just being you. I showed up we are at the uh, Dunbar place mom and Kevin's this is our uh, feeder bullpen yesterday Kevin and I um, getting these panels unloaded getting ready to tear out this this fence right here and um, going to replace it with freestanding panels well last night we got this crazy wild little storm out of nowhere and uh, Kevin sent me a picture this morning and said bring your chainsaw and so I brought my chainsaw um, 
Uh, look at this. It, it fell right there on the old bunk feeder. Yikes. It, uh, it's got some weight on the trailer. It lifted it up here. Yep, not good. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So what we do is we use this bulk feeder and, and it's kinda in here at an awkward angle and you're probably like, well, what are you doing here? Well, we actually split it so the calves can come over and uh, feed in this too, as well as our feeder bulls. We let our calves come in here and have they have free choice food. Yeah, or definitely uh, this is what I'm gonna do instead of building the fence. So uh, gotta get to work and get this cleaned up. I think this thing will be much easier if I go ahead and just get it pulled out of here. I done cut one limb to kind of get some tension off of it and the trailer weight shifted to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of here. Then I'll get the chainsaw back to work and get it uh, chopped up and get it out of here. Or maybe I can just pull it in whole pieces and pull it out here uh, for the bison to play with and then eventually saw it down. Here we go. Got a damaged feeder, but it's not terrible. Top looks like it got bent. That's repairable. 
Not bad. A little bent right there. Could be worse. Didn't have any tornado activity, but that tree was obviously um, pretty much dead. As you can tell, pretty rotten. So that's, uh, this is all we got left. That's a quick way to clean it all out. May have uh, bent this pipe right here too. Looks like, yeah, it may have bent it just a little bit. I can see it right here. These guys will be happy. Get some nice, fresh hackberry limbs. Pretty sure that's what it is. Now that that's all out of the way, got that cleaned up, I just put them out here and uh, let the bison eat them. They'll, uh, they'll like being able to eat those trees. So now I'm going to uh, start uh, tearing this fence down. Now the, now the fun begins, <laughs> about 200 feet, which is not bad, but we're gonna tear out this old field fence and um, put in the uh, freestanding panels that we just got through unloading. this filled fence tore down now and then what else we did with this is typically a filled fence is um you have two barbed wires up at the top which is what you see there and then one at the very bottom that's how we built this fence and as you can tell when dunbar came up here it is not in good shape mostly his fault but um at the time that we started raising bison and we built this fence this is just another pin and you know we could put calves in or whatever but we really never um at the time we were not ready to start raising um feeder bulls and so this fence is obviously not um in it's not what you want if you have bulls uh, if you have breeding bulls because dunbar he just come up here and mess around with them and bulls will be bulls this is not the type of fence you want this got us by and uh it was like we built this one of the first fences we built when we started just a lesson learned for the future obviously uh, but these guys right here are gonna do uh do the job and get us by for now and if we want to come back and build a pipe fence with uh, continuous panels that's something we will probably do just like we've done in the past but definitely not this it could be an exterior or an interior fence uh, but if you've got bulls that can touch noses then you're going to have problems like this and look at those t-posts it's just i'm amazed that it's it's lasted this long so i got those bulls pinned up and got them away so you can see these t-posts it's amazing that they've lasted this long they've completely leaned over and almost coming out so now that i've got this tore down i'm going to roll it up and and then pull the t-post out and then be able to be ready to put the freestanding panels up well isn't that lovely nice as i have to roll that through here oh boy juicy too
All right, I got uh, the fence tore out. I got it all rolled up, and I got all the T-posts pulled up. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell there, but those T-posts were pretty easy to pull up. Let's, let's just say that. I was really worried because I thought I was going to have to use a tractor to pull them up, but Kevin said, uh, you're probably not going to have to. So he said, you probably can, can do it by hand, and he was right. I basically pulled them out by hand. So uh, the good thing is, is these T-posts are in good shape. The wire it's going to go to the recycle. It's really hard to put back up uh, that wire that after it's been used. So it'll go to the recycle. But uh, now just start putting these panels up and we'll get her set. The last piece of the puzzle. Another little attribute that I like about these is, here's one that's done, but um, once you get these panels stacked up together, you can um, basically, you just loop them together with these two chains that typically come automatically welded on here. So just take it, put it here in this little chain lock. And that's how it's done. That's really all you gotta do, and they'll stay together. Got that done. Um, time to go let these hooligans out. And uh, Lumpy's in this group, by the way. I don't, I don't know if I said that, but uh, we're gonna let Lumpy back in here. Feed bunk is a little damaged, that's okay. I have to work on the top maybe a little bit and make sure it seals so no water gets into the feed because we do not want that to happen. Uh, absolutely, for sure, it will ruin your feed. Um, anyways, hey, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just doing a little bit of work out here in the heat as part of it, but uh, just having to adjust from fence building um, in the early stages to uh, these awesome freestanding panels um, uh, that you see me use all the time. So, hey, thank you guys for watching and we'll uh, see you soon.